guys, HMK here once again, and it's been a while since I did a video like this. You know, I really want to get that hype, that rage back into the gaming news. And I've seen a lot happening with Nintendo on Twitter and all that good jazz, and I've seen two things that I want to talk about. People panicking over this huge stock, well, it's just not really that huge when you think about it, this huge stock buyout when it comes to Value Act and Nintendo stock, and the hashtag trending on Twitter a fix Ultimate Online. And we ain't talking about Marvel Ultimate. We're not talking about Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Ultimate. We're talking about Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. And ooh, I've got a lot to say about that one. But let's get right into the noise when it comes to Nintendo and Value Act and them buying Nintendo stock. Now a lot of people have been panicking on all types of social media. On YouTube, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, all that good jazz. And people have been coming to me and saying, Hey, did you hear about these guys buying Nintendo stock? Is Nintendo going to change? Is it going to transform? Well, here's the nitty gritty. Here's the, you know, the whole shebang when it comes to that. So Value Act, Capital Partners LP, did a $1.1 billion stake in Nintendo in terms of buying their stock. Now, yeah, that sounds like a lot of money. $1.1 billion, man. The things I do for one, no, the things I could do with $1.1 billion. So I'm not, I, we ain't gonna talk about the things I'm willing to do for $1.1 billion. Because uh, this quarantine has made us, myself included, do some wild things. But that's besides the point. So if you guys don't know who Value Act is, they've been pushing digital entertainment and media with other companies being on the board of directors thanks to their investment buyouts on companies such as Microsoft and Adobe. And now it looks like they are very much interested in the big N, Nintendo. But shouldn't you guys be worried about this? Is Nintendo going to change? Because when it comes to all the articles talking about this buyout or whatever, they bring up names like Netflix, uh, Disney Plus, and uh, Apple Music. So, are they going to transform Nintendo into some sort of digital media empire in which they're going to give your games digitally, where you get to stream your games and stuff like that? Like, like the Netflix of gaming, is Nintendo going to become that? Guys, let me break it down for you. Relax. Relax! For those panicking and getting into that outrage, I wouldn't be scared in the very least. First and foremost, Nintendo... When it comes to them being taken over by another company or being taken over by anyone else outside of Japan, they already said multiple times, that they've shown multiple times in the past, that they're not about that. They ain't about that. All right? And them changing, like, in the form of Netflix or Apple Music, no. All right? First and foremost, $1.1 billion sounds like a lot of money. But thanks to actual analysts and stuff, we've come to know that Nintendo is valued around 50 billion dollars and that 1.1 billion dollar stake in nintendo is around two percent and that's what they're investing into the boy into the big n and investors do that a lot they throw a lot of money into a company in order to you know earn it back or perhaps you know get on the board of directors and tell them hey listen i'm putting money in you so I know what's best because I want to see a big return. However, with the case of Value Act, they are not going to be on the board when it comes to Nintendo. They've been on the board when it comes to Microsoft and Adobe, but they're not going to be on the board for Nintendo. What they plan to do is offer experience and valuable guidance when it comes to Nintendo's moves on the digital entertainment and media front. And when we say digital entertainment, the most biggest thing when it comes to a problem with Nintendo is they're online. And that's what we're going to talk about Fix Smash Ultimate Online in a bit in this video. But they want to go ahead and give Nintendo like a push in the right direction. They want to suggest, they want to offer, they want to, you know, hey listen, we want to let you know that this is the best practice from what we've seen with other companies that we've invested in when it comes to online and their digital entertainment prowess or whatever. And we all know that Nintendo is always late to the party when it comes to digital and online expertise. And if this is what they're gonna do when it comes to pushing their online, how online is gonna be better, and their media outlets, you know, them germinating, because if you, guys, if you guys didn't know, Nintendo is, you know, trying to go and dip their feet into all other aspects of entertainment. We've already seen it with uh, mobile games, you know, Dark to Mario, 
uh, Mario Kart Tour, but we have a Super Mario movie coming out relatively soon that's going to be directed, like not directed, but it's going to be made by Illumination Studios. Look, listen, as much as you don't like Minions, as, as much as you don't like Despicable Me, they're a pretty good studio in terms of animation. So, I mean, like, seeing a Super Mario movie animated by those guys, it definitely seems right up their alley. So, I, I ain't worried about that. And, of course, Super Nintendo Land, a theme park. Come on. So, with all these ventures, it seems that Value Act really wants to get a piece of the pie before all these drop. And to let Nintendo know, hey, listen, this is how we're gonna, you know, this is how you can maximize the profits by going into these ventures that, you know, we hate to say you don't have a lot of experience in. But guess what? We do. But they're taking a route in which they're not forcing themselves upon Nintendo the because, of course, once again, they're not on the board and they just wanna offer guidance from their experience, which all spells good things for me. So when it comes to massive changes to Nintendo and massive digital entertainment transformation with Nintendo, uh, I wouldn't be, I, I would not be. <laughs> Guys, relax. And I've seen that Nintendo stock, we all know Nintendo stock went up four points not too long ago. And also the fact that the Switch continues to be a massive success situation or not, oh, of course investors are gonna show up and run up and say, hey listen, here's our money. Go do you. Make more money so we can make more money. You got to put in money to get back the money. Don't worry, this ain't no hostile takeover. This ain't no super change. Once again, only 2% of the, Ninten of, of the Nintendo, Nintendo company. So, when it comes to that, I understand people can get panicky and they could, you know, oh, I don't want Nintendo to change when it comes to the core titles, how they're handling the company. I don't want to have a, like a, you know, a Google Stadia of Nintendo. I don't want that. I don't want this. I understand that. But there are parts of Nintendo that could improve. And the biggest part is their digital front online is bad. Speaking of online is bad, if you guys were living under a rock, social media, get on Twitter. Get on Facebook, and when you get on Twitter, be sure to follow your boy HMK on Twitter because, I mean, all these news aspects, I like to retweet and give my piece when I don't make videos, but I want to make more videos on that. So, uh, consider that. Fix Ultimate Online. I actually stabbed myself. Wow. Only on an HMK video can I only stab myself. So, uh, mini story. I play a lot of League of Legends. I like using Rakan. Uh, my fiance likes using Zaya, if you know the lore, yeah, then um, there's these bracelets that she got me one and you see those two sharp ass motherfuckers Like I legit just stabbed myself Wow, okay, so now now it gets personal now it gets personal fix ultimate online I'm gonna be bleeding soon. So fix ultimate online the rant why is Fix Ultimate Online trending? Because Ultimate Online, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, as much as I love the series, as much as I love the game, the online for that game is dog shit. That game, the game's online is trash. And it sucks that like a, a, that good of a game suffers that nasty ass online. And why was it trending? Because, you know, of course, the situation of the world, everyone's in quarantine due to the pandemic. We can't go to local tournaments, so pros, and um, casuals alike start making and entering online tournaments. More people are playing online Smash and more people are realizing that the online Smash is actually bad. It's super bad. Not Jonah Hill's super bad, but just super bad, bad. It's bad. It's dog shit. It's trash. It's, it's fucking trash. It's bad. And that's why the hashtag fix online ultimate, fix ultimate online has been trending. Now what's so bad about Super Smash Bros. Online, you know, if you're, play, if you're a casual or you don't play online or you play locally or whatever, what's so bad about it? So off the bat, you know, it's not like, oh, is the online trash because people are toxic? No, there's gonna be toxic players in any type of online game, period. We're not talking about fixing online that aspect. And if, if people are toxic and you just trash them, you trash them, whatever. And the reason why it's trash, the reason why we wanna fix online is because the game Super Smash Bros. Ultimate already starts off off the bat around seven frames of input delay in the game. When you translate from Brawl to Wii U, from Wii U to Ultimate, then you would notice the input delay in Ultimate. When I was playing at E3, I honestly thought it was a problem with either the demo or the controllers they were providing. And I'm like, yo, why? What's what's with this delay? You know, are you, 
you guys are gonna fix this, right? They never did. They, they gave some bullshit reason. It's like, oh, level playing field for everybody, so uh, casuals and hardcore people can, you know, they can grow with it. Whatever. Anyways, when you go online, it adds an extra three to five frames of input delay in a best case scenario if the online is good between players. That's the best case. It can get worse. It has got worse. It been worse. So you can have up to more input delay on top of the seven and on top of the three to five. So in the best case scenario, you might be dealing with 10 frames of delay online. It could be up to 12. It could be up to 18. It, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. So, you know, that's why we want to fix Ultimate Online. There are a lot of arguments in the case like, oh, Nintendo's not going to do it because Nintendo's huge. Smash Bros. Ultimate is, man, I am really bleeding. Smash Bros. Ultimate Online, you know, it's never going to get changed because Smash Ultimate already got the sales. People are playing it. People are still going to tournaments. People are still going online, which is true. You know, and then people complain, it's not like, oh, fix Ultimate Online, maybe you're bad. Listen, me being bad is besides the point. It's my ability to be bad online that we need to fix, all right? And if you think I'm bad, you'll twitch.tv, HMKillup, gonna go live with Smash. Let's see, let's see how bad I am, let's see how much you like that Ultimate Online. It's bad. So, you know, the, there's also the argument that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate team within Bandai Namco is, you know, just a skeleton team. They don't have enough resources or people to fix online. The infrastructure cannot be changed unless they completely revamp it. My take is that, like, you know, as long if they can find a way without changing the entire online infrastructure of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Online, in which case you can remove the three frames, you know, uh, the, 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 the extra frames of input delay when it comes to online, or just remove the input delay of the base game, but that's so much work when it comes to development. And the fact that, uh, if I'm remembering correctly, Smash Ultimate Online is PvP, is, is it's peer-to-peer. -peer. Uh, and, you know, for them to introduce some sort of feature like maybe rollback online or anything like that, it's gonna take work, and I don't think that they're, you know, it's feasible in this current iteration of the game, if they were to play, if they were to release Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Ultimate, or you know some sort of massive update, can they? Nintendo is a big company. As we were talking about, fifty billion dollars. Nintendo is a big company. Can they do it? They probably could. Will they do it? Probably not. And that's the infuriating thing because, like many Nintendo gamers out there, Nintendo has us by the balls, and we can all we can do is you know, hey, fix this. Please, and they're like, yo, shut up! Like, <laughs> our GSP is not that important! Why are you telling us to fix this online when you constantly complain about GSP and ranking? Like, it's not a real ranking system. Why do you think we put that in there? No. Mario Kart, Mario, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Online is way better than this. And the funniest thing about this is that the, the, the devil's advocates online are saying that, hey, you know, Sakurai is overworked, you know, you guys complain about everything, and I understand that argument, but this isn't some hanky-panky, oh, Byleth does not deserve to be in Smash, an arms character Smash, trash, who the fuck is Banjo? I'll tell you who Banjo is, but it's not one of that, it's not that situation, it's a legitimate concern and detriment to the game that we can all say is bad and we want fixed you're like everyone stands on like will they fix it that's that's a different story but we all can agree ultimate line is bad and the fact that we pay for this is just woo and then they're like oh but nintendo online is cheap smash with you was free and it was better it was better the online that's the that's the thing that burns me up the most the online in Smash Wii U was better than Ultimate, and it was free! It was free. It was free. Hashtag fix Smash Ultimate Online Nintendo, please. You, you guys aren't probably going to do it, but hey, if this reaches one of y'all's ears, that would actually pretty be dope. But yeah, so when it comes to these two aspects of news, Value Act buying stakes in Nintendo. Don't worry about it. Don't panic. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. And do you agree with fixing Smash Ultimate? Hashtag fix Ultimate Online, fix Online Ultimate, whatever. 
you agree, let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to share it up. The rage and the flames are back! I hope you guys enjoyed this video style. We got another one coming tomorrow. And also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram. I mean, I hardly ever use it. Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. I stream Smash. Let's see, let's see, let's see who's bad. Let's see who's bad. Let's see, I'm trash, you're trash, or is the online trash? Let's see who's trash. I'll see you online. Anyways, this has been your boy HMK. And as always, keep on keeping on. Keep that hype alive, and I will check you guys later.